you guys welcome back to my channel here at my table three today we are in the kitchen as a part of another collaboration and it is remember croctober so this is my last video this month on crock pot recipes i hope you have enjoyed the three i've put out so far i have that uh, southwest casserole that i'll put up here uh and then i also had a video where i showed you how to make a side dish which was a potato ranch potatoes and a creamy chicken and gnocchi soup. If you haven't seen those videos, they'll be linked in the description. But today's collaboration is hosted by Jenny over at Scratch Made Kitchen and Tony at Kettle Kitchen. So I hope you guys will join along. Check out all the comments, um, all the videos in the playlist, which I'll link below. I'll also link Tony and Jenny's channel there. Today, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to show you something really simple and good. I'm going to show you how to make some maple cinnamon um glazed walnuts in your crock pot it's super easy it only needs six ingredients and it is amazingly delicious so i'll tell you more about the collaboration at the end of the video before we close but until then let me show you the ingredients we'll need to make these easy glazed walnuts and then i'll show you how to throw them in the crock pot so let's get to it okay here is a quick look at the ingredients we got vanilla our whole walnut pieces you could use chopped pecans um, walnuts, almonds, any kind of nut you'd like, but I'm using walnuts today. Pure maple syrup. This is sugar in the cinnamon mixture. Remember all the ingredients are measured out for you in the description below. There's a recipe link you can follow. One, um, some brown sugar and one egg white that I whipped up until foamy and that's going to help all these things stick to those. So let me show you how you put it in the crock pot and get started with the simple maple cinnamon glazed walnuts. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is use our cooking spray um, to cook our, to spray our pot. You can use whatever cooking spray you have. All right, that's a lot of spray. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do is dump in our nuts and then our beaten frothy egg white. I'm gonna stir that around. Oh, I'm also gonna add my vanilla here. A couple ha happy splashes. Now we're gonna make sure that the, some of the walnuts all get a coat of that egg white. Because remember, the egg whites are what's gonna help the cinnamon sugar and stuff stick to the nut. So, it looks about like all of them are coated. In so you can see good. Okay, so then we're going to add our sugar and our cinnamon and then the brown sugar. And just stir these around until they are all, all really, really coated. Get all of it in there. You can already see how the, uh, I'm gonna grab one, clean hands, but how the mixture is um, sticking to the nuts because of that egg white and vanilla. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and put my lid on this mixture, let it go on high for two hours at the two hour mark. I will open it up and I'm going to put in our maple syrup that will help make these become glazed. Now. I said about two, two and a half hours, and at the two hour mark, I would take the lid off and add the maple syrup. However, every 30 minutes, I'm gonna come and, I say every 20 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna check on these. I'm gonna be here in the kitchen all day working, so this is not something I would just leave on high, um, you know, for three hours out unattended. It needs a little bit of work just to check it out and, you know, see, so make sure it's not burning, give it a stir so everything's getting heated through evenly. So I'll be back. Um, about the two hour mark and let you see what it looks like. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and I am just opening it up to give it the first stir. You can see that it's already starting to melt in there, but you're just gonna stir it around and then smooth them back out. All right, and back the lid goes. To finish out the rest of that cooking so i'll be back shortly all right guys so it has been 
about an hour and 45 minutes. This is cooking. This is a new crock pot of mine I got, and I love it, but it cooks a little bit hotter than my old ones do. So it's been about, um, about an hour and a half. So I think they are just about ready. So I'm going to head and add my maple syrup. Also, I added one tablespoon of water to this, and you're just going to pour that over. This is what's going to help turn these dry sugars into a glaze. And so I am going to stir it really good. And now I'm going to turn this down on, whoo, it's getting foggy in it, on low. So let me do this slow. And I'm going to do it for, let's see, about 30 minutes. And I will come back and show you what these look like. Now we're not, this is still gonna be, when it is done, it's still gonna have like a sticky texture. It's not gonna be dry. We're gonna have to pour these out onto a cookie sheet and um, let them dry. But this is what we're trying to avoid. We don't want them to set too long and I let that one apparently set too long and it gets a little too dark. I'll still eat it because I don't mind it, but I don't want a lot of the others to get that way. So remember to stir this every 15 to 20 minutes and I would put it on low after the first hour, hour and a half. So just watch it really close, especially if you have a newer crock pot that runs really hot. So I'll come back in about 30 minutes and show you how I turn this out on a parchment paper and let it dry. All right, guys, so these have finished cooking and I am going to put them on this parchment paper. I guess let me show you basically what they look like after they finish. Here, I'll turn you around. Can't really see because it's dark, but they are beautiful. So I'm going to put them on this parchment paper and now we're gonna let them dry. Spread them out and then we are going to let them dry for a few hours so that they harden up. They're still wet and kind of tacky now, but don't worry about it. They're gonna dry up. Alrighty friends, here in the kitchen again, and I wanted to show you these amazing um, crock pot maple cinnamon walnuts after they have completely dried. You can see now they are no longer, they are no longer sticky or wet. They are completely candy and covered in that yummy brown sugar maple candy or glaze. They are not too hard. They are just the right texture and these will make a fantastic fall treat for you guys. Practically any time of the year, but you cannot beat maple cinnamon walnuts as gifts or as a snack on your charcuterie board or just as a little change up to your cookie platter. And like I said, these make great gifts, especially to the nut lovers in your family. But we are going to enjoy these. And let me tell you how I store those. Okay, you guys. So you just saw how those nuts come out. It took about an hour for them to get that uh, dry. So just sitting out on the counter. And if they last very long in your home, you'll need to store them in an airtight container. Maybe a mason jar with a lid or vacuum seal the jar. You don't necessarily have to vacuum seal the jar. But if you want them to stay fresh, Put a lid on it and definitely seal them up so air can't get to them also you could put a pretty piece of cloth over the top screw the lid back on and give it as a gift so these are one of my favorite snacks i don't make them very often because i eat them too much if i have them on hand so great snack also a wonderful crock pot um thing that you can stick in the crock pot it's not one you can walk off and leave for hours because it will burn if it's left unattended but if you're going to be in the kitchen and you're already baking or cooking dinner, throw them in your crock pot, cook them for an hour and a half, open them up, pour the brown, the maple syrup and water on them, stir them, and cook them for another 30 minutes. And put them on that cookie sheet, on that parchment paper, spread them out, let them dry for an hour, and you guys are ready to snack away. So, there you go. Let's talk more about the collaboration. Okay, guys, that is my last crock pot recipe for Crocktober 2023. I will link it also in my playlist where I have a lot of crock pot recipes. You can find that below in the description as well. But mostly I want to tell you about this rest of the collaboration from Jenny Scratch Made Kitchen and Tony over at Kettle Kitchen. Remember 
to go and watch all the videos on the playlist, comment, learn some more recipes. Who doesn't need more crock pot recipes? I've said that before and I truly mean it. I use my crock pot almost on a daily basis. I would say at least two, three times a week when I'm not using my Instapot. So I use it a lot. So also let me remind you that they are hosting a live giveaway for this Croctober event. It's going to be on November the 2nd at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Now, if you're in Eastern, it's 6.30. And then my brain is too hard to do the math. But if you live on the towards the West Coast, you'll have to figure your time zone out. But again, that's 5.30 Central Daylight Time, um, 5.30 p.m. on Jenny Scratch Made Kitchen's channel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all the Crock-Pot vi um, videos that you've seen this month. I hope you've enjoyed all the ones I've put out this season. And, you know, who knows? I'll probably share some more going into November as well. Because, like I said, I use my crock pot a lot. So, I hope you guys enjoy the collaboration. Good luck to everybody that goes to the live for those prizes. And until the next video, you guys keep those crock pot hot and rolling. And I will see you later.